we have already seen the structure of synapse, the chemical synapse and the conduction of impulse through chemical synapse. Now we will take a comparison between chemical synapse and electrical synapse. Now the basic difference between these two is the gap that is the synaptic cleft. So in case of chemical synapse, the synaptic cleft, that is the gap between the exon end bulb and the dendrite of the other neuron, this is normally 10 to 20 nanometers. That means the gap is wider. Whereas in case of electrical synapse, this cleft is about 0.2 nanometers. It is much, much smaller. So now to understand this, we'll draw a small diagram. Instead of drawing it vertical as we did in case of the conduction when we were trying to understand it, here we are drawing it a slightly different manner. Suppose this is the exon end bulb of one neuron and here is the dendrite of the other neuron. This is the synapse, only thing is the uh, alignment in which we are drawing it is slightly different. This is the gap that we are talking of, the synaptic cleft and this is 10 to 20 nanometers wide. In case of electric synapse, again the same thing, it is Again, a close proximity between the exon end bulb of one neuron and the dendrite of the other. And here you can see that the gap between these two, that is exon and dendrite, is very, very short. So, this is the major difference between these two. And because of this, the conduction also takes place in a different manner. The second difference, here, because the gap is more, from here the neurotransmitters are released. So here, transfer or conduction of impulse is by neurotransmitter. And that is why, because neurotransmitters are chemicals and that's why we are calling it a chemical synapse. In this case, if we take this example, say here it is electropositive, electropositive, electronegative. And this is say myelinated. So here there would be this myelin sheath, myelin sheath, myelin sheath. So this impulse is going to jump from one let me draw it here also, this myelin sheath, myelin sheath. So, here the impulse is going to jump from one node to the other, from here to here and it can jump from the membrane of the exon end bulb to the membrane of dendrite because they are so close. It is pretty much same as two nodes of Ranvier. So, here conduction is by the potential which is being transferred by transfer of the charge or potential. So this is how the conduction takes place. And if it is like this, in this case, we would need these neurotransmitter containing vesicles. And as here, there is no chemical to be released, in the exon end bulb, there are no vesicles containing neurotransmitters. So here, synaptic vesicles with neurotransmitter are present. And here, these vesicles are absent. Why these vesicles are required? Because they have the chemical. Here, there is no chemical required and there is no requirement of these vesicles.
Now, in this case, because these vesicles have to rupture, calcium ions have to go in, ATP is required. And that is why inside the exon and bulb, number of mitochondria are also more. So, mitochondria numerous in exon and bulb. Whereas, in this case, the mitochondria are very few in number because all these calcium channels and all those are not required here. So, few mitochondria in exon and bulb. In this case, the postsynaptic membrane, that is the membrane of the dendrite, has those chemoreceptors because those neurotransmitters which will be released, they are going to bind to these chemoreceptors. So here, postsynaptic membrane has chemoreceptors. Whereas in this case, as there is no chemical release, there are no chemoreceptors present on postsynaptic membrane. No chemoreceptors on postsynaptic membrane. That is the membrane of the dendrite. Now, if all these things have to happen, that means the stimulus is going to come to the exon and bulb, the vesicles are going to rupture, releasing neurotransmitter, neurotransmitter is going to bind to the receptor, membrane permeability will change. So this is going to take some time. That means when the impulse travels through chemical synapse, there is going to be a lag. So here, I'm adding this point here. In this, there is a lag period. Though it is not very significant, it is 0.5 milliseconds. Whereas here there is no lag because it is moving from one node of Ranvier to the next, to the next exon membrane to the dendrite membrane. So here there is no lag. And if there is no lag, this is going to be faster. So this is faster as compared to the chemical, slower. So now here we are talking of slow and fast, but 0.5 milliseconds is very small. But if there are say 10 synapses, every synapse, it would be 0.5 millisecond lag. So ultimately it is going to be slower as compared to electrical synapse. So this is the comparison between the chemical and electrical synapse. Now here we will also talk about the speed of the nerve impulse. Speed of nerve impulse. The speed depends on two main things. Number one, myelinated or non-myelinated nerve fiber. It is faster on myelinated nerve and the reason is because the impulse is going to jump from one node to the other node of Ranvier which we call the saltatory conduction and with this the impulse which travels in human beings the speed is 45 meters per second this is the speed with which the impulse travels on a myelinated nerve and it is 20 times faster as compared to non-myelinated. So if you are comparing myelinated and non-myelinated nerve, myelinated would have faster conduction, 20 times faster. And the reason is on non-myelinated as there is no myelin sheath, the charges are going to move in smaller loop from first point to the second and so on. Whereas on myelinated, it's going to move from one node of Ranvier to the next. So it is going to cover greater distance. This is one factor controlling the speed. The second is the thickness or diameter. Diameter of nerve fiber. Thicker the nerve 
faster is the rate of conduction and the reason is thicker or wider the nerve is less is the resistance so thicker nerves will show faster conduction now if and that is why in case of a uh, smaller animals like squids earthworms which have non myelinated nerves they have thick or the diameter of those nerves are uh, is more so that the conduction can be faster so this is predominantly found in squids earthworms etc smaller animals because myelin is not there so the other uh, method by which the nerve impulse or the speed of nerve impulse can be enhanced or increased is the diameter more the diameter less is the resistance and that is why the speed of impulse conduction is faster if a situation is taken where the nerve fiber is myelinated and thick also then the speed of conduction can go to 100 meters per second but that is when these two things are there now we have uh, pretty much most of the nerves as myelinated nerves but there are few non-myelinated nerves which are present in our body also and in non-myelinated they are slightly thicker also example here we will write it is written as c fiber c fiber in skin are non-myelinated are non-myelinated and they are associated with conduction of pain so they are non-myelinated plus they have thicker diameter so that the conduction can be fast so two main factors which are responsible for the speed of the nerve impulse there are other factors also which are considered as factors which would affect the speed of conduction like temperature ph so we can write it here so temperature and ph also affect the rate of conduction but normally these two are taken as the most important factors controlling the speed of nerve impulse conduction so the difference between the two types of synapses and earlier we have seen how the chemical synapse works we have seen the structure also and we have seen the working of the synapse also and here there is no other thing except for the gap which is less so that the conduction can directly take place from one membrane to the other membrane and the speed of nerve impulse conduction controlled by two main factors that is myelinated or non-myelinated and second the diameter with this we are done with the synapses and nerve impulse conduction